Hey everybody, thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here. If you're new here, welcome to my channel, Fuchsia Floyd, and my name is Eva. This is my cat, Charlie. Today we're talking about bags that I own that I've never used before. This was a video started by Erin, the handbag housewife, and she tagged me in that video. And I do have a few bags in my collection that I'm very happy to own, but I just haven't had the opportunity or haven't taken the initiative <laughs> to put them into rotation yet. But before we get started with that, I wanted to show you my bag of the day. So this is the Coach Tate 18, affectionately referred to as my tater tot. And if you wanna know why, I'll link that video down below. And, and I've had it out on my winter display here because I love the, the gray colors. In fact, today is a very gray January day. Anyway, so it's a real little bag, but I like the ease of use because it has these two external pockets here. And back in the back pocket, I've just been keeping my card holder. This is the Coach Kittens and Mittens uh, card holder, and this was the gift from Yoda Style and Dawn Loves Couture. And in the front pocket, this is where I keep my clay because I have my excess cards, you know, like insurance cards, loyalty cards, other things like that in here. And then down in this middle compartment, I just put my phone case in here so that you can see that it does fit. I have a little coin purse where I keep some medication. I have a lip product and my key fob. But I also wanted to mention this bag uh, because when I did my Loewe gate tote unboxing, I pulled this out to show you that it has a similar stylized feature in that it has the knot detail here. See how both bags have this knot detail as it like in it as like an accessory or like a belt almost. And the reason I mentioned this is because I noticed lately on the Coach Outlet Reserve section, you know, that's where they put things from the Coach Boutique that go to the outlet, that they have that they have this bag, but in a larger size, the Tate Tote, the Tate Tote, yeah, they have the Tate Tote <laughs> on the reserve of the outlet. So if you like the look of this knot detail as a decoration on a bag, you might be interested in the Coach Tate. And I thought about picking one up, you know, to use as a work bag. And I was like, no, you don't need another work bag, but I was tempted, let's put it that way. So that's just a little tidbit of information in case you're interested in the look for less. Okay, so now moving on to the content of today's video. Thank you, Erin, for the tag. Of course, I will link her channel and her original video down below. So check it out if you haven't seen it already. Okay, so yes, I do have a few bags in my collection that I haven't used yet or haven't had the opportunity to use. I totally understand that that's part of this situation that I have created for myself by collecting these bags. But part of it has to do with the season in which I bring the bag into my collection. So my first example has to do with that. So as you probably know already, this is the Coach uh, Cassie 19, and I loved this color, specifically this top color here. And it's a color block. I'm a sucker for color block as well. I got it uh, secondhand off of Macari. And I was so tickled with it. I was just like, I'm gonna love this. But I got it in the fall, but I haven't put it into my rotation yet. I think just because this, this top color anyway, doesn't like scream fall to me. And I have a lot of other bags that really do scream fall to me. So I just haven't worked it into my, my rotation. I have used this one quite a bit. This is my other uh, 19 that's in the sand canvas print. This is more of an all year neutral to me. So I rotate this whenever I feel like using the Cassie. So this gets a lot more use. And keeping on the theme with Coach, you'll probably recognize this bag, the Tabby 18, the Pillow Tabby 18. This is in the ice purple, but it's the same situation as before. I got this bag at the same time that I got this little cutie, the fuchsia bag in shearling. And so I also got this in, the, in this past fall. And of course I've been gravitating to this because of the weather. And look, I mean, yeah, just, isn't she cute? <laughs> so I've been using this one much more frequently. I haven't used this one yet. So I believe when spring rolls around and it's time to give this one a rest, that this will get its fair due, but it just hasn't had a turn yet. If you're a returning viewer, you probably already know that I have twin boys, they're five now. And when they come into my office, one boy is, is intrigued by how the bags open and close. Like he's looking at, he's looking at, you know, to see what makes it, what makes it click like is that that's a magnet in there or he might be looking at this you know and turning it you know to see how it would open my other boy every time he comes into my office he's looking for this bag he's always asking me 
where's the magenta furry? <laughs> he always wants to touch this bag. And I'm always, and I'm always like, are your hands clean? Let me see your hands. <laughs> That's always the conversation when he comes in here. So anyway, so yeah, he loves touching this bag. If you've had a chance to put your hands on this uh, coach Sterling, I think you would, you understand too. Okay. Another coach. This is the Basquiat Alley belt bag. It has the Basquiat art here on the front. And when you turn it on, turn it around, you can see the belt loops here and the stars on the back. I find that to be so charming. And I find it to be super charming that it has this little teeny tiny top handle. I mean, and speaking of teeny tiny, like it is a super small bag, but it can fit my phone. Just in case anyone else out there is curious about those kinds of details. I mean, it's a tight fit, but it, but it does fit in there. So the bag came with this strap, which you which is adjustable. You could wear it on the shoulder or crossbody, and it came with a belt, a wider belt here. If you can see, it's the width of this area of the belt loop here. And I thought this was a very nice belt. I didn't bring it down. It's upstairs in my closet because I've actually worn the belt. So I haven't worn the bag, but I've worn the belt. So that's something anyway. And in this particular instance, I don't feel bad at all about not actually wearing this bag out because this is the kind of piece that I think is like a collector's piece. And yes, I would enjoy wearing it. And I'm not saying I won't wear it. Even if I never wear this bag, like I would be okay with that because I like, like I said, I just find this to be a collector's item. And I, for this piece, not for all my pieces, but for this piece in particular, I find the the joy, I find a lot of joy in just having this here to look at and to see with my eyes and to, and just like to see and feel the texture of this art. And in this case, I'm, I know you may disagree, but in this, in this case for this bag, I'm totally okay with not wearing it. I may someday, I may not, but I really love having it. And then the last bag to show you is not Coach. It's a Duty and Burke. And I think this is a gorgeous bag. Now I bet as soon as I pulled this up, some of you thought to yourself, the reason you haven't worn it is because it's suede. Actually, no, that's not the reason I haven't worn it yet. The reason I haven't worn it is because of the strap. This strap is beautiful. Like if I hope you can see it has that beautiful contrast stitching. And it's one of those clever duty straps that comes in three parts that gives you a lot of like flexibility, but not enough flexibility to make it short enough that I need. It's too long. And I had it laid out to take to my uh, luggage leather guy to ask him to put some more holes in here so that I could shorten it, but I haven't done it yet. And I've had this bag for over, over six months now. And I thought to myself, like, I'm going to get those extra holes punched in here and use this in a fall. But I, I kind of missed I kind of missed my fall window. Not kind of, I did. And of course, I've still got winter. So if I wanted to get myself in gear and get that done and get this in rotation, I totally could. But I've got another suede bag on the way. So it's not that I'm anti-suede. I'm suede cautious, but I'm not completely anti-suede. This bag is super cool. I couldn't pass it up. I got it at my local secondhand shop. If you saw my Vlogmas episode about thrifting, you saw some insight into some of the treasures that you could find there. When I got when I got this bag, it was new with tags. I just removed the tags, but it, the tags were still on the bag when I got it off of the shelf. Basically, it's like a wallet on chain, but I mean, it's a significant wallet on chain. Like it's, it's more, it's more than a wallet on chain, I think. It's a bag. Okay, how about, what am I trying to say here? It's a bag with wallet on the chain features, I think is what I'm trying to say here. Because this is a really cool back pocket with an internal zipper pocket back there. And you can see how much room opens up here in this internal pocket with card holders right here. And then there's a front zip pocket here. So, I mean, there's definitely my phone fits in here and I wouldn't have to like even empty out my wallet because I think I could put my like phone, wallet, key fob, a few other bits and pieces in here and be fine. And has a really generous back pocket. I can even put my phone back here. Yeah, it's super cool and I do want to use it. I just need the strap to be the right length. So yeah, I need to do my homework and get, and get a visit into my luggage guy. So that's why I haven't used this one yet. So thank you, Erin, for the tag and uh, giving me an opportunity to 
uh, talk about those bags and the reasons behind why they haven't had a chance to be used yet or if they will, will ever be used. Now, like I said, I will link Erin's video below. You've probably already seen it, but just in case it will be down there, it will be in the description box so you can check it out. Speaking of checking things out, make sure that you stay tuned for a collaboration video coming up this weekend. On Saturday, I'm collaborating with Dawn Loves Couture, Yoda Style, and Cami from Cami's Closet. We have an exciting collaboration coming up this Saturday. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, this would be a great opportunity to do that because I would enjoy your company in the future and it's exciting for me to see the channel grow. So thanks for liking the video, thanks for subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Okay, you take care, see you next time, bye.